All right, so we're gonna start learning about lists and we're gonna create a shopping list um, program. So basically we're gonna get from the user, do you want an item uh, from the store? And if they say yes, uh, we're gonna ask them what it is and add it to our list. Um, so I've kind of created the steps right here. Um, one, we need to create a blank list because if we're gonna add items to a list, we need to have a starting point. Um, and then we're gonna ask them if they even want an item um, because we're gonna put this thing in a loop and we're gonna need to figure out a way to get out of our loop. Uh, if they do want something, uh, we need to ask them what it is, then add that item to the list. And the last thing we're gonna do just um, to kind of practice pulling um, random items from a list, uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna pull a random item from their shopping list and say, do you really need that Snickers bar or whatever? Um, okay, so let's start uh, just kind of talking about lists here. If I, um, I'm gonna do this right underneath, right here. <clears throat> so if I say like my list, um, a list is, uh, can be created with the, those two hard brackets and with those, anything inside those hard brackets will be inside the list. So if I say, um, Sue, uh, Charlie, um, uh, Sam, and Ted, right now, uh, I have a list of names, right? And what I want you to kind of see is if I run this thing, um, uh, if I run this thing, watch what happens. Well, I mean, I didn't tell anything to print off, so I'm done running it as soon as I start. But watch what, uh, watch how this list is organized. It's kind of a weird thing. So if I want to pull an item from a list, I just say whatever the list name is, in this case it's my list, and then I do hard brackets, and if I say position one, now, if I print this off, you probably expect Sue to print off, but the weird thing is, Charlie prints off. Um, the reason for that is the lists, and a lot of things in Python, we start counting at zero. Um, so Sue's actually in the zero position, uh, and Charlie's in the first position, Sam's in the second, and Ted's in the, in the third position. So if I say my list at position, my list lost, my list at, uh, holy smokes, I have trouble typing this morning, all right. Uh, I'll get Ted. Now, if I say my list at position four, watch what happens. Mm, index out of range. Um, we don't have a fourth, uh, fourth position in our list. Now, that is gonna be a real common error for us, um, just making sure that we have the right size. Um, okay, now I don't want my shopping list to have these people's names in it. Um, I want, um, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to save this as, as uh, grocery.py, um, and I think you should too. Uh, yeah, we'll replace it. Um, okay, so I have my blank list. I need to uh, figure out what I all want looped on this. Um, I don't want to have my list in the loop like this, because what that's gonna do is it's gonna clear it every single time. It's gonna make my list blank. So if I add ice cream to it, if I have my list and then I have that little blank thing, it's gonna clear out ice cream. Um, and that wouldn't be a very useful, uh, th that'd be like writing our list like on the beach um, and having the, the waves each time eliminate it. Um, however, everything from two to, th two to four, I'm gonna want that in the loop. Um, Cause I'm over and over again, I'm gonna wanna ask them uh, if they want an item, uh, I'm gonna ask them what they need and then add that item to the list if, if, if they do have it. Now, I have two options for, uh, for making loops. I could do for X in range like zero to nine. The problem with that is it caps it on me having nine items from the grocery store. And I don't know how many um, items I want. So in that case, I'm gonna use this, this loop, the while true loop. Um, and every time I make a while true loop, the first thing that pops in my mind is what's gonna, what's gonna make that thing break? Um, what is like the end of my program gonna look like? Um, and two is gonna get me that question, step number two. So I'm gonna do that right underneath it and tab it in uh, so I'm inside the loop. Uh, uh, do they want an item? So I'm gonna say basically uh, a variable yes or no, right? Um, and it's gonna be the input of do you want anything else from the store? Story. Um, and this question uh, right here 
if they say no, so if yes or no, now the double equal sign, the double equal sign, remember, means um, is this equal? It's kind of like a question, right? Um, if their answer back to me is no, um, or yes or no is equal to um, lowercase no, and we can go through all the, all the different combinations. Um, I want this thing, this program to end. So the double uh, equal sign, once again, that's like, that's asking the question like, is this equal to? Uh, versus the single where it's like, no, literally set it equal to. So if they say no, they don't want anything else from the store, that's where my break's gonna be. Um, if I don't have that, this thing's gonna run for forever. Uh, otherwise, what do I wanna have happen? If I don't break right here, um, I want it to go on to step number three. So let's do this. Ask the user what they need. Um, next item. Uh, next item. So next item is going to equal the input of what would you like? And now I want to add that item to the list. And just be careful every single time we're, um, we're indenting. Uh, we need to still be inside that that loop. So the way to um, the way to add that to the list is you take whatever the name of the list is. In this case, it's my list. It could be my grocery list. Um, and I'm going to do this dot append. So append means um, you're going to put it uh, right there at the end of the list. So what am I going to append? So in parentheses, I'm going to I'm going to put next item. Next item. Uh, so whatever I get in answer to this question, that'll become next item, and next item will get appended to my list. Now, I'm not going to put this in the, in the regular program, but I'm just going to print off my list so we can kind of see what's going on right after it gets added. Uh, and let's test our program. Oh boy, first things first. Uh, no, get out of here. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to put a space right there. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bug me. Okay, here we go. Uh, do you want anything else from the store? Yes, I want something else from the store. What would you like then? Um, I want apples. I didn't see it prints off apples. Uh, do you want anything else from the store? Yes, uh, I would like um, uh, fruit by the foot. Uh, and see how it adds every single time towards the end. So yes, I want banana. Um, Yes, I want pop, pop, po, po, po. <laughs> so anyway, every single time it's, uh, when you're pinned to a list, it's gonna end, um, it's gonna go to the end. So let's test if the break works. Do you want anything else from the store? If I do capital N and a lowercase o, that's gonna, that's gonna stop it. So right now I'm only one step away from, from finishing this thing. Um, let me just get rid of that. Uh, when it's all said and done, ask them if they uh, really truly need a random item from that list. Uh, so now I want to go outside my loop. Um, in fact, I'm actually going to add that I'm going to print this list when it's all the way done. Um, here's your full list. Uh, and then I'm going to print, do you really need, and then I'm going to put one item. I mean, come out. So the real question is, is what am I going to put in there in this dot format, right? I need a random item from the list. Now, I can't, right off the bat, because I know it's random, I'm going to import random, right? Because I'm going to have to get that idea of random in there. Um, and let me just slide that up there so I know what this is doing. Um, so... I know it's going to be like my list at position, some position A, right? And I need to have A be a random number. Um, the problem is I don't know how big to make it. So let's just take a look at something. Uh, I'm going to just create a new program so we can see. Um, if I, with this program, import random. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to say this is .py to do this. Oh. As. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. So I import random. 4x in range 0 to 5. Okay. I'm just going to print. It's going to get 20 numbers, right? And I'm going to have each time it goes through there, I'm going to print out a random number. So I'm going to do a equals random dot rand int uh, um, 0 to 3, right? So I'm going to print off that a value. Now watch what happens when I do this. You'll see that my outputs for this, I get 2s, 1s, 0s, and 3s uh, when I do that. So when I, if I pick a random number between 0 and 3, I'm going to get all of those outputs. Well, watch what happens if I have, um, if I have a list uh, that's equal to, let's say, A, B, C, and D, right? Um, it's important that I know uh, which, which, uh, which items I have in here. This is position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3. So if I have a list that's four long, I really want all the numbers zero to three to do it. Um, if I was to put this zero to four, and I was gonna print each time list at position, well, let me, let me this is the correct way first. Uh, list at position A. Um, it's gonna get me list at position zero, one, two, and three, which correctly identify each one of these. Watch what happens when I run it. Um, I get some A's, some B's, some C's, and some D's, right? If I was to change this and think mistakenly that there's four items here, so I would want all the random numbers between zero to four, if I was to make that mistake, watch what would happen. Sooner or later, it worked for a while, it gave me a B, it gave me an A, but that third time, it tried to get it at position four, but there was no position four. So, when I have a list of varying size, I have to be really careful about how big um, I want it to be. So. I need to get a random number a so random so a is going to equal a random dot rand int uh, between 0 and see I I don't know how long the list is going to be so the way to figure out how long a list is is you go length um, uh, so len is how to do length uh, of an object um, so I want to do the length of my list. Now if I just leave it like this, remember that's, the, that's why I did that other example, if they say five things, this will give me all the random numbers between zero and five, and when it tried to print that um, our list at position five, it's not going to exist. So what I need to do is uh, length of my list minus one, uh, and that will truly, truly give me the ones that I need, right? Um, okay, uh, do you want anything from the store? Uh, yes, I need um, Oreos, uh, let's see here, Laffy Taffy, um, yes, I want milk, um, yes, I want OJ, uh, yes, pork chops, um, and now I'm done here, I'm going to say no, uh, and it's going to pull that random one Laffy Taffy uh, from my list. Okay, cool.